as we begin this new day, I simply want to encourage you by letting you know that God is with you. We endure many things. We have highs and we have lows. But no matter what we endure, God is with us. So as we prepare ourselves to launch out into the deep on this morning, I want you to understand that the outcome is going to be victorious. And the outcome is going to be victorious simply because God is with us. The songwriter says, he abides with me. He gives me victory because we know that God never fails. And because God never fails, we understand that we are going to be triumphant in every endeavor we undertake because God is with us. So I want to encourage you to boldly launch out into the deep on this morning, knowing that you are going to win. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come now thanking you for this another day you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for your grace, and we thank you for your tender mercies. And Lord, as we prepare to move on today and execute the orders you have given us, we ask you to forgive us of our sins. And we ask you, Father, to create in us a clean heart and to renew a steadfast spirit within us, restoring to us the joy of your salvation. We understand, Father, that there are many tragedies in our country. And we ask you, Lord, to be in the midst of those who are hurting, those who are enduring these tragedies, Lord. We ask you to comfort, keep them, and hold them close to you, letting them know that you love them more than anything. We ask you, Lord, to bless those who are struggling in their hearts and struggling in their minds. Lord, we ask you to send your comforting presence into their lives, and we ask you to touch them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Lord, we ask you to bless those, Lord, who have struggled in their home, Lord. Be their guiding light. Let them know in you there's comfort and there is peace. We ask you, Father, to bless our children, Lord. This world is a crazy place, Lord, and we ask you to be a hedge of protection around our babies on today, Lord, and we ask you to bless the church. We ask you to bless every laborer. We ask you to bless every leader, Lord, and give us a heart and a mind to follow you and listen to the wisdom that you bestow upon us, Lord, and understand and digest the knowledge that you have given us so that we may be able to equip the church and so people may see our good deeds in the world and come running. What must I do to be saved? Lord, we thank you, Lord. And it is our prayer on today that you give us a triumphant mindset. Give us a triumphant mindset, even in these dark times, because we know that our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' love and righteousness, Lord. And we are going to take this as we go forth into the world on today. So we ask you, Lord, to fall afresh in our hearts. We ask you to give us a mindset to receive what you have for us, Lord, and give us the mindset to execute your marching orders. And Lord, as we go forth, Lord, we're going to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for the great things you have done. And we will reverence you simply for who you are. Lord, we thank you. We honor you. And we ask you, Lord, to equip us as we go forth on today. We thank you. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever we pray, amen, amen, and amen. And remember, you are triumphant simply because God 
is with you. Make today the best day of your life, knowing that by faith on tomorrow, your day is going to be even better. God bless you.